Remember me? I'm the guy that promised you a new vlog every Sunday. Well... Welcome to another episode of Becoming Swedish. My name is Thomas Sprague Nilsson and yes, just a few short weeks ago I promised that I would be coming to you through this Becoming Swedish vlog every Sunday and it didn't take me long to break my promise but I have really good excuses. Not excuses, I have really good reasons. Let me explain. As you know, this whole YouTube channel was founded on me completing a bucket list on the road to becoming Swedish. If you don't know that, the rest of this video is not going to make a lot of sense. Watch this video up here, start there, work through all the videos, and then come back, and it'll make a lot of sense. I'll give you a minute. The whole premise of this channel was me on the road to becoming Swedish. And you might have seen this video appear on my channel a few weeks ago at the end of January. 8700 britter ansökt om svenskt medborgarskap. Hittills har 7730 fått det. En av dem är Thomas Sprague Nilsson. And if you don't speak Swedish, maybe you didn't watch it. So I need to explain. This video was me on the National Swedish News talking about how I had become a Swedish citizen. Yep, that's right, I'm Swedish. Thomas Sprague Nilsson, Swedish. <sighs> it seems a bit unceremonial. Feels like we should celebrate it a bit more. Okay, this feels more like it. I am Swedish now. And if you haven't seen this video up here, basically I'm talking to the national news in Sweden about how it feels to finally be Swedish. And it was kind of a confusing time. Uh, I got my Swedish citizenship with Brexit just on the horizon. And although the timing didn't really matter because Legally, I would have no problems uh, for at least another year. Kind of felt symbolic that on the day my country was leaving the EU was the day that another country adopted me. And I have completely mixed feelings about the whole thing, but we're not going to dwell on that now. Today, we're just celebrating this, me, Thomas Sprague Nilsson, Swedish. So that's basically what's been keeping me busy. Being Swedish is really busy. You gotta like get up really in the morning. You've gotta go herring fishing. And no, I'm just kidding. That's not what's been keeping me busy at all. As you might have known from watching this vlog, I've been working on a book related to this whole journey. And I'm happy to tell you, no, no this needs more celebration. Wait. I'm happy to tell you that my book is now available to pre-order! I know, a bit over the top, but I cannot tell you how much time, effort, love, sleepless nights, so much has gone into this book. Not just my time, there's been so many people involved. I can't tell you how excited I am to finally share this book with the world. The book is called Fear and Falu Korv in English, but the book has also been translated into Swedish and it's called Falukov och andra Falso. And the two books are coming out at the same time. Here they are. One, two books at, at the same time on the 3rd of April. But it is now possible to pre-order the book. I'm going to put the link down in the description below. So if you've been watching this blog since the beginning, firstly, thank you. Uh, and secondly, don't think that you've seen everything on this vlog that might be in the book. It's been the case throughout this project that I've, sometimes I've filmed loads and it hasn't quite fit this channel so I've decided that it wasn't always good enough or interesting enough to share. Um, some things just it wasn't possible to film, it wasn't interesting, it wasn't appropriate. Um, I completed in the end 60 things from my Becoming Swedish bucket list out of 73. Everything is in the book. 
There are so many details, so many intricacies, so many interesting stories that are in the book that never appeared on this vlog or anywhere else. So I'd ask you, if you have enjoyed this vlog, if you've enjoyed following this journey, please, please, please consider buying my book. And one little Easter egg. I'm really excited to announce here on the vlog for the first time that really honoured to have Jan Eliasson write a forward for the book. Jan Eliasson is not just a fantastic storyteller himself, but he's the former Swedish Foreign Minister, former Deputy Secretary General of the UN. And he has put some really interesting reflections at the beginning of the book. So, Fear and Falu Kov book. I'm going to leave you there for tonight, simply because it's like midnight now. I'm in the middle of the countryside. It is freezing. I don't know if you can see this. It's getting pretty damn cold in this little room that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening to me drone on about my book. I love it so much. I just want I just want you to see it because uh, it's been fun. Who knew? Who knew I'd write a book? Ah, anyway, okay. I'll see you next time. Bye. Didn't expect that to be confetti. Oh no. That's going to take ages to pick up. Jesus Christ, what an idiot, look at all this mess now.